Oh, so ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome again to tabitalks.com. Uh, yeah, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, some of the reasons as to why any person uh, doing business uh, should need a website. A website is something very, very important. Uh, first of all, it is a set of uh, uh, related web pages uh, which uh, with the aim of uh, advertising a product or a brand. Uh, so we are going to look at uh, why uh, it is really necessary for whatever business you are doing, uh, be it education, be it uh, uh, a business of any type, you should need a website. So first of all, uh, for you to have a business, uh, you need to have a domain name. What do you think a domain name? A domain name is a web address or a uniform resource locator. This is the one that enables people to access you or to find you in using the search engine. Uh, so whenever someone goes and opens any web browser and type your domain name, uh, the domain name is a unique identifier. This is like the uniform resource locator or something which helps any person looking for you to locate you on the internet. So uh, for you to have a, a website, you need to consider having a domain name. So a domain name could be the name of your organization. Uh, it could be the name or your personal name if you want to have a business in your names. So please, I repeat, uh, when you are coming up with a domain name, the other thing you need to know is that you need to choose an extension. Uh, this could be like a .com extension or it could be a .org extension. Uh, .com com is like commercial, org is organization, edu is education, uh, gov is government. So uh, depending on whatever extension uh, is, or the extension you use now, uh, this will help your people, your clients to know like which field you are in. If you are in an organization like non-profit, then I would advise you use a .org uh, or, or extension. So please uh, make sure that you have a domain name. The domain name uh, is always a, uh, it differentiates from other domain names. If so, for example, you are starting an organization, you are starting a business, and that business already exists uh, uh, online. Whenever you come or you want to start uh, a website and you register a domain name, they will tell you it's already taken. It's already in existence. So many, uh, once you register your domain name, it becomes a unique identifier. It becomes a brand that no one else can use. So it is very important that if you are an entrepreneur and the, you uh, think of starting any business, I would advise that the first thing you do is to have a domain name. The, th the second thing is to have a web, a, host a web hosting company. A hosting company, this is a company which uh, owns web servers. This is where you design your website and then from after designing, then you go and uh, save your web pages with these servers. These servers are easily accessed. Uh, they are always uh, on, uh, online 24-7. Anyone can browse and get what your information through these web servers. So normally what you do is that uh, people can visit the website. Uh, we have different uh, web servers options available such as the uh, uh, VPS. This is a uh, virtual private uh, service hosting and the, we have dedicated uh, hosting uh, services. All these are the options you can choose uh, when you want to uh, select what any plan uh, in your hosting platform. And the, like the people in the US, you can use uh, companies like Bluehost is a good company for hosting a website. You can uh, also use uh, 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 GoDaddy. GoDaddy is also a good platform where you can uh, really host your website. They have good servers and good platform uh, to really uh, ensure that you get what you want. Then we have also what we call the content management system. This is a software uh, which enables you to create, manage and publish uh, digital contents on your website. So normally when you want to have a website, of course your website should have contents. Yeah. When I talk of web pages, these pages must have content. Contents in form of data, uh, some like multimedia uh, data uh, involving images, uh, videos, audio, and text. So whenever you come up with or you get these contents in one place, 
this is what we call the content management system and the, this could be done using wordpress could be using joomla it could be using Drupal. so whatever platform you use uh, it's good as long as you know how to use it and do it well uh, but what's more important is that for any website whenever you think of having a website then you should also think of what uh, content management system are you going to use like how are you going to manage your data how are you going to put your information together so you can also think of that then the other thing you need to think about is the design of course the design is very very important this is because uh, first of all it should be appearing easy to navigate and reflect your brand uh, for identity uh, for example if you are not good in the design because you need to design a brand or you need to design something that will really attract your customers you need to design something that your clients will look at and feel uh, really attractive to your brand and uh, come in so uh, first of all if you are not good in design then you can consider hiring a web designer to create a custom design for your website uh, this can be you they can use some template or pre-designed templates and customize it to your needs like if you are coming up with a website for your school uh, coming up with a website for your business be it, maybe can be a, a hardware could be a, a supermarket then there are already uh, pre-designed templates available online and then the web designer could come up with a template which is real, really looking nice and then uh, try to configure it in a such way that it meets your need and there everything could be okay so uh, please think about the design because it's really very important the other thing you should think about is the content your website need to have engaging and information content that provide value to the, to the audience of course as a, a person who is coming up for a website the website should have a content which has meaning which really sending some meaningful information or which has the content that your customers will really need this could be text values text i said this is a combination of both characters and uh, numbers uh, like a string of words and uh, then you should need uh, images images uh, these uh, good images they really uh, represent a certain or they have a certain meaning and they, they send a message then you should have like videos uh, and other multimedia elements like uh, graphics animation and so on then we have engine, uh, search engine optimization the search engine optimization uh, this could be like uh, uh, how do you rank uh, your search engine results in the web pages uh, this could be like how how do you want your like for example you have a website then you could find uh, something like the keywords which can easily be searched and you, uh, a customer can easily find you uh, by optimizing and building other uh, techniques that make sure that whenever someone is looking for your brand or your products it is very easy for uh, the person to get you so first find out which uh, search engine is really good uh, for example i would recommend like uh, the google search engine because it is really good uh, according to the search that was made uh, out of 78 percent of all the searches while is powered by google this is because of its application which is really desired and liked by many people so i would, uh, I would really suggest that you use such uh, engine uh, google search engine optimization uh, then the other thing is about uh, analytics analytics uh, help you to track and analyze uh, website performance of course you need to know how your website is performing in terms of uh, visitors how people are coming in uh, from which location like the geographical and the which age bracket and the uh, what is the gender like what do they want are they the youth are they old uh, what you know after knowing how after really collecting all this data and knowing your client uh, from which location and which age bracket and there it helps you now to come up and really do what we call uh, inform the decision and make any kind of adjustment based on uh, really real values and real data that you have collected uh, from your website so uh, it is really very important that whenever you think of a website you have to think of that i said first of all you need to think of a domain name uh, that's the primary thing then other things will follow uh, in that order and uh, having a website is something very important 
uh, we are going to look at the advantages of 